Okay, so here's my puzzle. I decided to do, I got this as a gift from my mother. This puzzle is a Cobble Hill puzzle. It is a train in the mountainside. Um, the artist is Mark Keithy, and it was manufactured in the United States. And I believe that this is a landscape of Canada. So here are the pieces. They're all very unique. The pieces are nice thickness. It has a nice glaze to the puzzle pieces. Here I'm sorting. I basically sorted by shades of blue and green, and then I had a few extra vibrant colors to sort into. My coffee cup my mom got me. Quite a bit of puzzle dust with this puzzle. Um, there was a big pile of puzzle dust actually after I was done sorting. And I put them into my trays. I have four trays that I that I that came with my puzzle board. And I started with the edges, like I always do. So where my puzzle board is set up is in the living room and sometimes it has better light than other times of the day. I prefer to puzzle during the daytime with the natural light. This puzzle did not come with a poster for reference, so I had to use my box, my box stand that I got from the Puzzle Peak company to hold up the puzzle. I started with these blues, these light blues, the shady, uh, smoky, back mountainous area. And then I decided to move on to the train and the vibrant creek in the front forefront. It was a pretty easy part. After I finished the train, I decided to try to move on to these uh, darker shades of blue, which proved to be pretty challenging. It was probably the hardest part of the, of the puzzle were these blues. You can see my progress slow down quite a bit here. At this point, I was pretty tired of doing the blue areas. And I think I decided to move on to the red just as it got dark outside. So the glare from the puzzle and my light did not help doing the reds. They were too dark. So I think I give up here pretty quick and try again the next day. A little progress made in the red. Then I decided to work on the front of this train. It had um, smoke coming off the, the train, so I thought that would be an easier area to, to work on.
can see how useful these trays are. I have never done a puzzle by Cobble Hill before. I was very satisfied with the quality of this puzzle. And the image was beautiful. This particular puzzle took me probably nine or ten days to complete. Um, I don't continuously work on it. I let it sit up here by the window and work on it whenever I have a few minutes of downtime. I did end up sitting, saving the red parts to last. They were Here I am finishing up. It goes pretty quickly at this point. That's the puzzle by Cobble Hill. Very fun, very satisfying. Thanks for watching.